G'day, Ozzy here. I work for Go Workplace Training in Melbourne, Victoria. If you're watching this video, you're probably enrolled in a basic rigging course, and I've sent you this just to help you out a little bit with your maths. May look very confusing on the board. The object of this video is to try and make it a little bit less confusing and take a little bit of stress off you coming up to the assessment day. Okay. What we're going to start with is a little bit of basic terminology. We've got these abbreviations here, DLS, BL, LLR, MIN, ROPE, and that symbol is for diameter, PSLS, which stands for the Purchase Support Load, or SLING, and LLS, the Load in the Lead Diversion Sheave. So if you're doing basic rigging, you've already completed your dogging. We need to be able to remember our angle factors. A good way to remember angle factors is to square root the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Which number is stronger? 3. Square root the number 3 and you will get 1.73. That is the angle factor for 60 degrees. If you square root the number 2, you will get the number 1.41, and that is the angle factor for 90 degrees. If you square root the number 1, you're going to end up with 1, and that is the angle factor for 120 degrees. In this diagram that I've drawn up, we have an angle of 120 degrees here, and we're going to use that as an example for today. Have a look down here. We have our winch drum. We have our lead diversion sheave. We have our purchase support sling. And we have a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage here with two triple sheave blocks. Down here is our load. We have a combined load weight of 12 tonnes, which is made up of 400 kilos, or 0.4 of a tonne, of lifting gear, that's pulleys, ropes, slings, shackles, etc. Spreader bar if you had a spreader bar. And we have the load weight of 11.6 tonne. So basic maths, 11.6 plus 0.4 equals 12. So we have a combined load weight of 12 tonnes. The lead rope comes from the winch drum through the lead sheave. It goes up to the purchase support sling and the block hanging off the bottom of that, down here, through the series of sheaves, making a complete revolution of up to six times. So, this load down here, that is 11.6, and we're gonna add that together, the 0.4. So this load, the combined load of 12 tons, is pulling down. It is pulling down on the head sling. Now, for us to be able to lift this load up, we also need to pull down on the lead rope to lift that load off the ground. So what does that mean? We need to make sure that this head sling is capable of supporting the total weight of the load, the total weight of the lifting gear, as well as the weight that we will be pulling down on the load lead rope. So now let's figure out the minimum distance required to our lead sheave from the winch drum. And we have two different kinds of winch drums that we need to know about as basic riggers. We have grooved winch drums, and we have plain winch drums, also known as ungrooved. And the magic numbers for those are 12 and 19. Think of 12 as a very groovy number. Think of 19 as a little bit plain Jane. I want you to get those numbers into your head. 12 and 19. So down here, we have a grooved winch drum. This grooved winch drum is 1.2 meters across from one side of the winch drum to the other. To work out the minimum distance that we need for that lead sheave, we need to halve the width of the grooved drum, so which is 1.2. So let's write it up here. I'm going to use a red pen. 1.2. We need to halve that. How do we halve something? There's a couple of ways. We can multiply a number by 0.5, and that will give us 50%. Or, you could hit the divide button and divide it by 2. Let's do it both ways. 1.2 multiplied by 0.5 
equals. Now I know this off the top of my head, but I'm going to grab the calculator anyway. 1.2 multiplied by 0.5 or 50% will give us 0 0.6. Okay, now the other way we can do it is 1.2 divided by 2 equals 0 0.6. What do we do with that number? Is it 600 millimetres from here to here? No. Remember our magic number for our grooved winch drum. Our magic number for a grooved winch drum is 12. What we want to do with that now is multiply 0 0.6 by 12. What does that equal? All you math geniuses will be able to figure this out before I do it on the calculator. Times 12 equals 7.2. 7.2 meters. What we're doing here is we want to make sure that the distance between the winch drum and the lead sheave is no less than 7.2 meters. We've just done the first part of our maths. Let's go on to the second one. Beckett load. So what is a Beckett load? A Beckett load is a portion of the load supported by the Beckett, a fixed end of the rope in a block and tackle system. To work out our Beckett load, we need to find out how many sheaves are in our purchase. In this situation, we have six. So what is a purchase? In rigging, a purchase refers to the mechanical advantage that's gained by using pulleys, also called blocks, to lift or move a load. The term purchase comes from maritime and uh, theatrical rigging, where a block and tackle is pretty common, commonly used. In more detail, a single purchase system will have a mechanical advantage of two to one, which means you will need to pull twice the amount of rope to lift that load up one meter. And it also means the load is shared twice as well. So you will only need to lift half of the weight. A double purchase system has a mechanical advantage of four to one, and a triple purchase system has a mechanical advantage of six to one. With all that said, let's work out what our Beckett load is. So, we have a purchase of six, which means there is six sheaves in the pulley system. What is a sheave? Sheave is the rotating part of a pulley. This one here is a triple sheave block, and there is another triple sheave block down the bottom as well. So, we have six sheaves in the purchase, giving us a purchase of six, Meaning, we have a mechanical advantage of 6 to 1. Meaning that the load, which we calculated before to be 12 ton, we can divide that by 6. I will do it with the calculator, although that's pretty easy maths. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Let's do this together. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. I'm going to write that up on the board. Beckett load is 12 divided by 6 equals 2. That's 2 tons. Alright, that is our Beckett load. Now I did mention before that we do have friction with every sheave. Generally as a rule of thumb, every sheave has a friction factor of 5%. How many sheaves do we have in the system? We have 3 here, we have 3 here. But don't forget, we have a lead diversion sheave as well. Sometimes you may have more than one diversion sheave. In this simple system, we only have one lead diversion sheave. So we need to count the amount of sheaves that we have in the system. We have six plus our diversion, making seven. And this is going to help us find out what our load is in our lead rope. We know that we're going to be pulling two tons down out of that rope all the way back to the winch. Now we just need to find out how much friction is in the system. So, to find out the friction in the system, we count the number of sheaves, which is six plus one, and we get the load that is in our becket, that is in each one of these six falls of rope here. We multiply two by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Remember to count this one, two, times seven, and now we want to multiply that by our friction factor. 
To find out what 5% is of something, all you have to do is simply multiply it by 0 0.05. Not 0 0.5, 0 0.05. That's 0 0.05. So we have 2 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 0 0.05. That gives us 0 0.7. We have 700 kilos of friction in this system. Let's write that up on the board. So, 2 times 7 times 0 0.05, which is 5%, equals 0 0.7. Now we also need to take into account that we automatically have two tons pulling down on that as well. So that is how much friction we have. Now we also need the weight that we're pulling, which is two. Doing that without a calculator, I know that it's 2.7 ton, but the number is still in the calculator. I'm just going to add a two to that, and we have 2.7 ton. 2.7 ton. So the load in the lead rope, the load that that winch needs to be able to pull is 2.7 tonnes. Now we need to find out what our minimum rope diameter is. I'm going to get you to pause this screen right now. Rewind if you need to. This is your load chart. You can work it out mathematically, but I don't recommend it for this course. Use the load chart, which you should have from being supplied in your learner's guide, to find out what the minimum rope diameter is. Once we've figured out what the minimum rope diameter is, and I'm going to come back to you on that because I don't have the chart in front of me, we are going to find out what our purchase support load or sling, our purchase support sling, needs to hold. That is the sling here, right up the top, that holds the entire load, the weight of all the lifting equipment, as well as the force we need to pull down to lift that load up. Remember the force we need to pull down is in our lead rope is 2.7 ton. So our purchase support load or sling, our purchase support sling is automatically gonna be 2.7 tons, as well as what else? The weight of the load and the rigging equipment, which we added up before is 0 0.4 ton or 400 kilos and 11.6 ton. So 12 ton altogether. 2.7 plus 12 ton equals 2.7 plus 12 equals 14.7. 14.7. The purchase support sling, the purchase support load needs to hold a minimum of 14.7 tonne. Now, because we're in Australia, we like to over-engineer everything, so we're going to round that up to, it needs to be able to hold 15 tonnes. That beam also needs to be able to hold 15 tonnes. How are we going to find that out? Get an engineer's report or a report from a competent person. Last thing, the last part of the system is, the load in the lead diversion sheave. That's the sheave down here. So remember how we figured out the load in the lead rope is going to be 2.7 tonnes, meaning this winch needs to be able to wind up 2.7 tonnes. Now remember our angle factors. 120 degrees is one, uh, 90 degrees is 1.41, 60 degrees is 1.73. Right here we have a 120 degree angle. So we know that our angle factor is 1. Pretty much all we have to do now is find the load in our lead rope, which is 2.7 ton, and multiply it by 1. Let's do it on the calculator. Very easy. 2.7 times 1 equals 2.7. So the load in the lead divergence sheave is 2.7 tons. And now you know. If this angle was 90 degrees, I would take that load from the lead rope, 2.7 
and we'll multiply it by our 90 degree angle factor of 1.41. 1 1.41 equals 3.807. If it was 60 degrees, our angle factor is 1.73, so we multiply our 2.7 by 1.73, and that gives us 4.671. But in this situation, we have a 120 degree angle. We multiply our 2.7 load in the lead rope by one, which we know is 2.7. I'm gonna make a much shorter video for the, the plain winch drum. Remember, from the very start, we did this on a grooved winch drum. Now I'm gonna make a really short video with the plain winch drum, and I'm gonna change all the numbers. So here's the explanation. The next video is going to be just the maths. Best wishes.